Do you wouldn't mind just to begin with an opening statement, just talk about how bowl preparations have gone so far and what your experience has been like so far in Atlanta. Okay. Um, got to, our team uh, flew out yesterday and practiced today. I was really impressed with our team that uh, you know, we, we picked up right where we left off when we were in Ann Arbor. Uh, Chris sound, good practices, uh, and had a, had a very good practice today. The uh, always heard about Atlanta and the reputation it has for hospitality, but this is this is at a at a, a, a plus plus level. The uh, Peach Bowl and all the incredible volunteers, uh, just how serious they are about making everything uh, first class in terms of uh, accommodations. The, of course the. The, the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium is, is uh, as good as it gets, and uh, and the people, really, um, all the all the volunteers that are going to be working over Christmas, and um, just have a lot of a lot of gratitude to them for um, working so hard to make this experience good for us, and and we've uh, we've seen it all, you know, uh, every hour since we've been here. So super excited to be here. All right, go ahead and open up for questions. Just go ahead and take your turn, shout it out. All right. Coach, I'm Anthony with the Atlanta Boys. Of course, this has sort of been an up and down season for you, just starting off loss in Notre Dame, but you guys were able to battle through, kind of had a tough loss at Hits Ohio State. Can you just describe how the season has been just for you as a coach and how you feel just to be here at this moment right now? Right. Um, yeah, we, we lost our opener to Notre Dame, and um, and that was a uh, good football team. Tough loss for us on the road, and then uh, our team won 10 straight, reeled off 10 consecutive victories, uh, really playing good football throughout the year, really consistently good football. Uh, November 24th, we didn't play good. Uh, that uh, that uh, we were not the best team on the field. That's the last game we played. Uh, so we're, we're looking to go out, uh, finish this 2018 season uh, on a winning note. Uh, to do that, it'll be against a really good Florida team who's uh, very athletic and, and really well coached. Um, should be a, a well ball game. This is bowl uh, four for you guys. Are you, are you approaching it the same as you have every other one you guys have been here? Or are you doing anything different this year or taking anything as a different approach at all? Uh, just approaching it to uh, get ourselves prepared to play the best that we possibly can and win the game. How do you juggle the whole like situation with this being right in the middle of the holidays and trying to make it a, still a kind of memorable day for the team and families and things? Yeah, our, our team really likes being around each other. Uh, they enjoy each other's company. We've spent, uh, I think, all the holidays, Labor Day together, uh, um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, we even practiced, we practiced uh, once on, on Valentine's Day because um, we love football. Uh, this will be our first Christmas together as a, as a team, but there's been Memorial Day, there's been uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, <clears throat> this, of course, you know, they, the big major holiday, you know, Christmas, that's as, doesn't, that's as big as it gets. It's the big one. Um, but uh, like I said, a chance to spend time with our families and and with our, our team family, you know, this, is, this is how we look at each other, is that, uh, and we're a uh, we're family. So uh, very much looking forward to Christmas Eve tonight, and um, we're going to be together tonight with some football meetings. And then uh, tomorrow we have meetings and practice in the morning, and then give, a, give the guys a good stretch to, to just be together, just hang out, and uh, then a nice big Christmas dinner tomorrow evening. So really excited about it. Coach. How are you on the on the injury front so far? Any major injuries? Anybody uh, going to be held out? Everybody's one hundred percent ready to go. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we've been a real healthy team all year, and uh, we'll come into this game really uh, pretty darn healthy. Yeah. Jim, what was your reaction when Shea, Shea told you he was going to come back? And what does that do for your team? You know, going forward. Um, that's a big lift. You know, that's uh, we're excited about it. Um, you know, the um, starts making you think. We got a lot of really good players coming back next year. A lot of really, a lot of good people, a lot of good uh, players, coaches, 
that will be returning next year. And uh, um, so that, th that thought's in your mind, too, is, uh, is you, uh, you want to you wanna, you wanna win this game for, for this team, for this season. Um, and knowing that it'll, it'll change, there'll be some players that are on the team right now won't be back next year, but uh, you know, a lot of them will, a lot of good ones. So I uh, also want to want to keep that build, start building momentum for, for next year at the same time. So able to do both at the same time. Coach, I know um, I can't remember the exact number, but I was looking at it. You have a top five defense, and you're facing Felipe Franks and the yeah. Florida offense. What about, is there a particular player, or what about the Gators jump out on field for you when you're watching film? I think it jumps out as uh, just really athletic, you know. Uh, uh, quick, change of direction, explosive, uh, you know, get up to top speed real fast uh, and, and long. And, uh, and strong, too, really up front in the defensive line. and. Athletic at the corners position. The quarterback is really playing well. He's doing a, a terrific job. So, uh, you know, all those things, all the you know, variety of things they do schematically really jumps out next. That's, uh, we've got a lot of things in and coached. Um, How much farther ahead is this, this team than the one you guys faced a year ago to open the season, the Gator team? Oh. Um, I don't know. I mean, that was, uh, that was a long time ago. It was like almost two seasons, two full yeah, seasons. It was ago. a long time. <laughs> yeah. But still, I mean, do you, does it look like it's made a lot of, the program's made a lot of progress this season? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I thought they were good then, too. Um, yeah. You know, they're good now. I hate to compare, really. Fair enough. You, you, got, cool. you got a few guys sitting out, obviously. Uh, did you have the input in their decision to sit out, or what were those conversations like? Uh, just that we would, that was their decision. We respect it. Do you have an opinion on it? Um, I have respect for their for them to make their that's the decision for them to make. You know, uh, full quarterback rooms are hard to keep. Sometimes guys trans seem to be transferring more than ever. Full? What, what did you say? Full quarterback? Room? Yeah, just to, you know, have enough quarterbacks and guys who uh -huh. are playing tend to leave. I mean, you were a quarterback. Um, What's kind of your message on guys about like just being patient and developing? Uh, you know, guys who are going to sit behind Shea, for example. I mean, what's your message to them about like you know, sticking with the process? Your time's coming. Yeah, they're really good. The guys, uh, the guys we have at quarterback on our team are are really good. I I really honestly think all all of them will be uh, NFL players and um, love coaching them. Love the way they they keep playing and, and improving. So, do you see that more of a challenge in this day and age? To uh, keeping guys around that aren't getting snaps. Maybe not in your case, but do you just see that more? I think it's pretty much the same. You, know, you, got the, you have, uh, I mean, you have the ability or you don't, uh, and and you have the license. You're on a team. You have the license to. To be good, you have the license to to play and and uh, contribute. So I don't think it's really changed from wherever it has ever been. I mean, there's there's still just one ball. There's only one quarterback can play at a time. Uh, so it hasn't it hasn't really changed. Jim, we've got one more game left with Shea, but looking back to where you guys got him to now, what's the biggest area maybe of of where he's grown as a quarterback from when you guys first started working with him until obviously he's got one more to go, but what's, what's been that growth process or one thing that stuck out to you the most? Oh, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really have that list in front of me. He's, he's, he's been just great at, can, at getting better at everything. You know, he's, he's, um, he's an ascending player. It, it just everything you ask him to do, I mean, he's got the athletic ability to to go out and do it, and really serious about uh, being good. You know, he's uh, so focused at practice, and um, he's the type of player that you can give a coaching point to, and he gets it and, and, and practices and, and improves on it.
Speaking of quarterbacks, is Dylan Caffrey, is he been practicing? He's starting to do some things, yeah. He's, uh, he's about seven weeks now into healing, and he can throw a ball now and, and um, might do a couple, and is starting to do some things at our practices as well. And we got coach. time for about two more. Oh. And coach, um, this is not really football related, but I know the ultimate goal is to come out here with a W, but you did speak about the hospitality and everything Atlanta has to offer. Is there something that um, you are excited about to see while you're here in Atlanta? Or something maybe that you want to see, but may maybe not have time. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work it all in really, um, you know, and and, uh, and planning on staying a few days after the game too to see it all because a lot of time to, uh, that needs to be put in before the game. But yeah, I want to go to the aquarium. I want to go to the Ebenezer Baptist Church. Uh, I want to go to the Coke Coca Cola factory. Uh, I want to go to a Hawks game. Um, want to go to a Georgia Bulldogs basketball game and um, I want to go uh, to some other my wife was telling me about a really nice park and I want to take the kids to and so. Piedmont, I'll be yeah, one of those yeah she was telling me about it <laughs> all right last question where are we going guys with Cron out I would imagine more falls on Chris's play but who else has been stepping up at running back um, a true Wilson and uh, and Christian Turner. So looking forward to uh, he's, he's had a really, really great week of bowl uh, weeks of, of preparation now so, uh, during the bowl game and 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 he'll he'll see time in this game. So pretty neat from Atlanta from Buford High School and um, you know, he's he's stepping in nicely. You know, don't feel like uh, feel like he's going to be a really good player for us. Is Peters backing up? Uh, is he the backup going into this game? Right. Um, well, as you know, um, we have um, uh, Dylan's out, uh, and then Joe Milton, uh, Brandon Peters, and uh, Mike Sessa are the other quarterbacks. And, and Max Whitmer now. Whitmer now is uh, starting to practice. He was out all year with a ACL that he came in with from high school. But those are all the quarterbacks on our roster, and. And uh, you know, as far as who would go in, you know, if, uh, they're all available. You know, they're all an option. Last question, right? Especially here. Joe and uh, and Brandon. Jim, have you guys made any uh, staffing additions full time at all, uh, permanent, I suppose, since the season ended? Um, well, Ben McDaniel's is uh, the receiver coach now, and uh, and that's uh, we'd like to make that that permanent. Is that you want to make that permanent? Yeah, yeah, he's. Uh, He's really done a nice job. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.